Welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this presentation, we are going to talk about test management tool QA Monitor from SoftSmith. We have been giving a lot of presentations on different varieties of test management tools, test automation tools, as well as performance testing tools. This one, QA Monitor, has some key benefits. Using this tool, this is a web-based system. So you have a, the management has total visibility across the company. It's a software as a service version and that reduces infrastructure of having machines, air conditions, power, internet connections and reduces the effort by 90%. You have real-time dashboards. You can get quick metrics and statistics. You don't have to use a lot of scattered spreadsheets, so many emails communication gaps. Enables the teams to collaborate better, faster. Your teams may be anywhere in the world. You can collaborate across a single web-based system. The key features of QA Monitor are you can track your product or project requirements. Because requirements are the key for any tester or development. Then manage all the test cases then track the test execution status pass or fail. Of course, track all the defects. Bug tracking system. The bug tracking system can be customized for customer support tickets. Then calculate all the time card details of every team member across activities. You can have your tasks in, an high, in a typical MS project or open project like hierarchical manner. There's a Kanban cards which increases the to-do list efficiency. This tool QA Monitor has got amazing built-in charts and dashboards. You can compare things across projects. You can get reports to get the exact details inside every project. The bug tracking workflow can be customized. The product shoots emails as alerts or notifications. No single UA can satisfy every customer. So the UA fields can be customized labels. You can add new fields, etc., etc. With that introduction, we jump into the tool. What you are seeing is the login part of this tool. There are three different users, administrators, I mean. One is the sysadmin. Second is the enterprise admin, e-admin. Third is the project admin. The other users are project users. The first thing is sysadmin will create an enterprise. You could see the enterprise, something has been, SoftSmith has been created. Once the enterprise is created, the enterprise admin logs in. Once the enterprise admin logs in, there will be a home page. Right now, in this enterprise, there is no project. If you pull in over here, there is no project defined. This is an empty enterprise. The first thing people need to go is go to the settings. The enterprise admin needs to create users. So if you look at this screen, there's a user related setup, UI related fields related setup, lookup codes, machines, activity types for time cards, version management for requirements and test cases, configuring the issue cycles and notification rules, changing time zones and passwords, then project management, this will be enabled only for the e-admin, not for the other people. You can create projects and you can get SMTP server settings also for the project. Okay. So now, right now, let me add, first thing is to add users into the product. So the enterprise admin logs in. The enterprise admin creates a user. Let me say, Rajan. Naga as employee ID Naga001, email ID Naga001 at uh, openmentor.net. The designations are coming from the lookup codes. Let us take this person is the project manager. Password, I'm just setting it. Now, this user has been created. Now, there's an enterprise admin user, there's a Naga user. Like this, you can have multiple users. Once you create multiple users, 
the second step is to have a project. I go back to the settings. Right now we have got just only one user. I go to the project management. Under the project management, right now there are no projects because this is an empty enterprise. We add a new project. A new project is nothing but a group of people. And within the project you can track all your requirements, test cases, tasks. Now let us say demo 001, demo 001. You can have effective dates for the project. Now let me say the first date is this. The last date for the project is, let me say, uh, December 31st of this year. What we can do is we can check the project type, phases, all these are configurable. Now I'm going to say Naga is going to be the project manager. Then for the billing of this project, we are going to do in USD. Minimum number of timesheet hours per week, we are talking about 40. This tool can remind you the timesheets. Now I'm saying Sunday is the remainder of the timesheets. Any project description you can give. The project right now is going to be monitored from India time zone. You can choose the time zone. Any codes that you want to have a prefix for the bugs. Some companies use BUG or some companies use DEF or you can just see just only numbers. That's also fine. You can have requirement codes either auto-generated or manual entry. Right now, we are going to have manual entry for requirement codes. And test case codes, we are going to say auto-generate. We are going to say TC is going to be the prefix. So it will be TC001002, something like that. So we create the project. So the project is now created. Once you come back to this, this project appears over here. Now, let me log out. I log in as Naga001. Sorry, we have to use the user ID. I was using the user name. The user ID was Rajan. I give the password, get into the app. Once you go here, right now it's empty. Since this person has been made as project admin for that particular project. You could see that project demo 001 appearing over here. Right now there is no data, so everything will be requirements, test case, execution, everything will be zero. Once the user gets in, you could see the tasks, requirements, test plan, test run, issues, Kanban cards, all these things are getting enabled for this particular user. If you go to the settings for this particular user, you won't see the project management settings, but all the other settings will appear for this user. So what we have seen in this demo is to go as an e-administrator, e-admin, create user, create a project, assign that user to the project as a manager, log in as that user, see the basic screens of QA Monitor. We will continue all the other features of QA Monitor in subsequent sessions. Thank you.